any mistake is promptly scrutinized in the high pressure environments of League of Legends. Ranked ladder with question mark pings raining down from the culprits, it's easy to forget that we've all been in similar situations. Don't forget if you're tempted to spit down a teammate's neck or if you're discouraged by your failures, here are 5 blunders that everyone has done in a ranked game at some time in their lives, including challengers, pro players, and Faker himself. Let's get this video started. League of Legends is a behemoth in the world of competitive gaming. It's been operating for a little over a decade and boasts some of the highest prize pools in the history of esports. League of Legends is a game with a surprising lot of depth. Being excellent at it is one thing, but mastering it necessitates a thorough understanding of its principle and action. For many players who are new to the MOBA genre, entering the game for the very first time might be intimidating. Players who have played Dota or Heroes of the Storm will find the adjustment difficult as well. Simple gameplay errors, on the other hand, are readily avoided if a player understands the fundamentals of League. Number 5. Joining a losing fight while misunderstanding the game's objective. At its foundation, League of Legends is simply a game of attrition. The aim isn't to go head to head with opponents, but to gather resources and XP, creeping ahead of them. Each team member takes a position in one of three lanes or the jungle and gathers XP and gold from dead enemy mobs while destroying the defensive towers in that lane. The majority of the game is spent outside of team combat, which may surprise newcomers. Many competitive games pits players against one another in fast paced action or focus entirely on high kill death ratio. Understanding that League of Legends is a combination of PvP and long term strategy is critical to avoid common blunders. Knowing when to enter a battle may completely shift the game's flow, yet joining a losing fight is a waste of time. While it may be tempting to leap into the action to assist colleagues, keep an eye on their health. It's usually a better idea to keep out of the path than to feed the opponent's team's kill streak when they're knocking off teammates left and right. It may not be the most thrilling decision, but staying alive is always preferable than to give the opponent the kill. Number 4. Committing too much to a lane and not enough to main. It's one thing to maintain a presence in the lane, but remaining too long is a common error because there is no one to confront them after chasing down and killing an entire opponent. Many newbies may push towers at when at low health. As a result, the player is vulnerable to getting wanked by another adversary. While it may appear like teleporting back to base while you're low on health or mana is a waste of time, it will spare you the trouble of respawning and allow you to require fresh goods and upgrades when your opponent responds. The sheer amount of champions available in League of Legends might be overwhelming for newcomers. When you first start out, it's normal to test out a range of champions, but as time goes on, it's vital to focus more on a chosen number and build a primary. This helps the user to refine their talents and learn more about the champion they've picked. Having a profound grasp of two or three champions is significantly more beneficial than having a superficial comprehension of many. Number 3. Frequently trading kills and passing on visual words. In the shop, in League of Legends, the exhilaration of earning a kill is tempting motivation to sprint through opposing turrets and hunt down an opponent. However, no matter how many kills a player achieves, the amount of deaths they have experienced weighs them down. Feeding the other team's supply helps them gain XP and gold. Thus, it's always best to let them teleport to the base rather than chasing them down. After all, a champion with 3 kills and 0 deaths is performing a lot better than one with 6 kills and 5 deaths. Begin often overlook vision wards, which are an excellent tool. They are inexpensive to purchase, simple to operate, and provide a significant edge to a player's side when utilized properly, when hidden from view, in bushes, or in hostile territory. Vision wards are most effective. Instead of vision wards, it might be tempting to buy heals or tiny goods that will ultimately improve. Rather than serving just one player, they boost the vision of the entire squad. At least one pink ward should be carried by each member of the squad at all times. Number 2. Ineffectively using pings and warping to base in full view. Pings are the most effective approach to alert colleagues of risk as well as opportunities. Ping the position to inform teammates that something is wrong when a champion vanishes into the fog of battle or when a group of opponents come unexpectedly near a vision ward. Pings are also useful for taking advantage that no one notices, such as 3 enemy champions are killed and the player's team has a chance to take the boss 
may be inconvenient, but it is the only means to connect with a colleague other than voice chats. In League of Legends, knowing when to stay in the lane and when to teleport back to base is a fundamental ability. Many players, especially after close combats, forget that they are vulnerable to surprise attacks. When teleporting back to a base out in the open, they are vulnerable to surprise attacks from the jungle and being interrupted by hostile mobs. Always head behind a bush or behind cover before pressing the B button. Number 1. Going into the fog of war by yourself and being toxic to your teammates while tilting. Many newcomers will make this error when attempting to navigate the map, possibly to join a team battle or push a weak lane. Going into unknown areas of the map on your own is a definite way to be slain by the jungle or run across a gang of wandering opponents. The best approach is avoid getting ganked, is to spend as little time as possible in the revealed regions and return to the teammates. Although it should be self-evident, competitive gamers are frequently reminded of one basic fact. Being disagreeable and bullying grits with their teammates is the fastest way to lose. Remember that team works as a unit and that just because teammates have varied skill levels doesn't mean you have to be toxic to them. Loss is an inevitable aspect of the game, 9 out of 10 times. Failure is an outcome of a lesser. Long term strategies are difficult rather than isolated blunders. Accept losses gracefully, analyze what went wrong and try again. If you want to enhance your ranked play, here are 3 recommendations from a grand master that knows how to help you win, avoid tilt and attain gold. Number 3. Know your champion. Champions. This may sound like a no-brainer, but understanding every single champion and their skills may help you figure out synergy between your favorite heroes and counter opponent choices. If you can't name all the 5 champions abilities, that's a problem, remarked Anthony 5 million Hong, a grandmaster in a, the North American server. You shouldn't be playing ranked yet if you can't accomplish that. Number 2. Concentrate on a favorite champion If you concentrate on playing a champion in a specific category, you can swiftly climb the ranks. Once you understand the mechanics of the champion, you can concentrate on being in the right location and in the right time to help your team win. It takes time to get the unlocking new champion, constantly maintaining them. Hundreds of games will be required to discover the best goods purchases, which other champions you synergize with best and worst, and which mechanics to use. Number 1. Stop and think before you act We've all heard this advice before, but in League of Legends, the notion of thinking about what your actions are independently of the outcome is very crucial. You don't don't want to look at the results and assume it was a nice move just because it went well, Hong explained. On the surface, what appears to be a successful play might have occurred because the adversary committed a mistake. That way of thinking isn't going to fly, especially at the higher ELO level. Bad judgments may become bad habits, and blunders against good opponents can cost you the game. Learn to prioritize good judgments above risky ones. Even if you do everything correctly, you might still lose. Therefore, it's critical to have the appropriate mindset to put yourself in rather than relying on others. And that concludes today's video. Thank you for sticking till the very end of the video and we hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.